everyone this is fdm learn again this is david and uh, we'll be talking about the fifth thing you need to avoid which is incompatible surface i'll explain how you can avoid that and i'll tell you what a compatible surface is and what an incompatible surface is also not all surfaces are suitable for installing your 3d custom floors you must ensure that the surface is compatible first now for a substrate to be compatible this is an example of a suitable or a compatible surface substrate where it has been grounded or shot blasted already you notice that it, it was formerly a tiled surface black tiles but it's been grounded and shot blasted to make it suitable now for a substrate to be suitable it must possess certain qualities number one is that it must be a level surface you don't want to have undulating that's not level and on level surface surface must be level you can use your plumb a construction plumb to check and find out if the surface is level if it's level then you now go to the next thing you need to check now for a surface to be suitable for a surface to be suitable you must possess the these three qualities you must possess all of them it can't possess just one and you say it's suitable you must possess these three qualities Number one is that it must be a level surface, like I said earlier on. Number two is that it must be a firm and durable surface. I have told you that the durability of your 3D custom floor is totally dependent on the durability of your substrate. So you must make sure that you have a very durable substrate. Don't go using a substrate like wood, that after a while wood rots in. It rots. After a while wood rots. So when it begins to decompose and rot, it means your 3D custom floors will also decompose and give way. So you must use a firm surface, avoid wood, avoid um, other weak surface that might give way, except maybe it's not a place where you're going to be having a lot of traffic, foot traffic, then you can take the initiative and do on wood. But if not, you should replace that wood with a more durable and firm surface. A surface is said to be firm if it doesn't shake when you jump on it or when, you, when impact is applied on it. Then it's supposed to be substrate is said to be firm. The moment there's an impact on the substrate, the moment there's an impact on the substrate, while you once you apply pressure on it, then it's not firm, it's not suitable, you're not to use it, otherwise, the surface will delaminate from the 3D floor to separate after a while. Now, the third one and the final one is that it must be a smooth surface. It must be a smooth surface because where you have rough surfaces like the German floor or not properly smoothened concrete, you have rough surfaces. Now, in that situation, you have issues of you need more product, more chemicals, because these, chemi these um, surfaces, or uh, before you apply your vinyl, the surface is supposed to be level and smooth. Now, if you don't achieve smoothness or level surface before you prime, it means that your chemical, the chemical you use, the self-leveling chemical, probably the IMC 200 you're going to be using will be more in quantity than usual because you need to apply enough to completely coat the surface and make sure it is level. So you'll be using the IMC 200 as a form of filler, which is wrong because you will be spending ridiculous amount of money on that project, way, way over the required budget to get that project done. So you must ensure that the surface must be smooth. Avoid rough surfaces. Where you have rough surfaces that are not too rough, where you can smoothen them with the angle grinder, then you can go ahead and use the angle grinder, smoothen them and make sure that it is smooth. But other than that, if you go ahead and install on a rough surface, you are going to have issues because you'll be needing more IMC 200 chemicals than necessary to cover the roughness on that surface. The wise thing to do to save cost because these chemicals are not ridiculously cheap as you have with um, as you can get with mortar that's cement mortar so the wise thing to do will be will be to use cement mortar to correct that roughness do a small cement screed over that surface before you commence any form of priming so for you to have a suitable substrate you must ensure that these three qualities or these three characteristics are found in that surface then the surface is suitable for priming and you can go ahead and install your 3d custom floors on them so that's the end of this 
section of the lecture where we talked about suitable or uh, incompatible surface. Any surface that does not meet any of these three criteria I listed here, in fact, there's four of them. Any of these criteria I listed here is not suitable. So if it's not suitable, don't don't conclude or don't go ahead, don't progress on installing that floor surface. Make sure you address this first. Address it and make the substrate suitable before you commence any form of a installation. Alright, that's the end of this course. I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye for now.